Well, I'd say that first of all, you gotta have the baseline image quality. Uh, you gotta have nice contrast, resolution, sharpness, but then all the artifacts come into play. So when you're imaging patients, there's a, a different kinds of artifacts you have to deal with when you're imaging patients. So there might be metal in the patient's mouth, the patient might be moving. Uh, if you want to use a low dose, there will be noise. So then th these, these are like an additional layer they have to tackle to get a good looking image. So I would say that it's a combination of these two, the b basics and then handling the artifacts. Yes, so the Plamaca column algorithm is uh, loosely based on my previous work at the university. Uh, I was there dealing with two-dimensional tomography reconstruction and motion compensation problems. And obviously in CBCT we got 3D images, so there's an additional dimension which complicates things. But the principle is that we are virtually tracking the motion of the patient. So we're virtually making the C-arm of the CBCT scanner follow the motion trajectory of the patient during the exposure acquisition. And that then basically compensates for the motion, makes the patient stay put uh, virtually in the imaging geometry, which then translates to a motion-free image.